Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Deluxe Menus. This is pretty much a GUI creator. You can create any type of GUI that you can possibly think of from a help GUI to a compass GUI anything you can think of literally anything it's gonna be a pretty simple setup what I'm gonna be showing you guys is an example of how to make a help GUI but of course like I said you can make any type of GUI that you possibly could imagine so let's go ahead and get started with this plugin you're gonna also need a plugin called placeholder API so just download that drop all the plugins inside your plugins folder and then restart your server and let's go ahead and head into the config Alright, so inside the config, if you scroll down past all the instructions, which I'm pretty much going to go over with you guys, down here, examples. So this is the name of the first GUI menu. Let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to call this one help because I'm making a help GUI. So what a help GUI is, instead of players typing slash help and being given a list of all the commands that they can type, I'm going to display all that inside of a GUI instead. So it's a lot more helpful for the newcomers. So yeah, I'm going to name that help and then the menu type title obviously something along the lines of help I could go with help menu but I'm just gonna go with help and you guys can change the color codes basically when you change a color code anything after the color code is gonna appear in that color so since help is after it's gonna appear in light green and then this is the command without the slash that the players will type to open up this GUI right now that command is slash example menu so back inside the game if I were to type slash example menu it would bring up that example menu. So example GUI menu, that's pretty much what's in the config right now, which we are gonna change. So I'm gonna change this command to slash help. So this is a common command slash help that players will use in Minecraft servers when they don't know what to do. But instead of having the text pop up when they type that, we're gonna have a GUI for them. And then this is the size, so nine squares is currently shown here. But we're gonna make that a lot bigger. And let's go ahead and have 18. So that's just double two rows and then the first item so the first item right now is a player head which you can change which I will change so I'm gonna make that basically right here for the first one I'm going to have the rules and then the second one will be maybe important links and then the third one will be commands that they can type and then the fourth one might be like faction commands it just all depends whatever direction you guys want to take it so since the first one is the rules I'm gonna go with a book and hopefully this just works just by typing book, but we'll see. And then that'll go in slot zero, and zero is pretty much the first slot. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how that works. The first slot is zero, so we're gonna leave that as that. And then let's change the display name. So let's make it rules. There we go. And then let's change the lore. Basically what the lore is, is whenever you hover over that item, that is the text that is shown right there. So you opened a GUI menu, that's the lore. That's what we're about to change right now. Click to see the rules. It's very important. All right, and an also cool thing that comes along with this plugin, instead of just left clicking, there's also things that can happen when you right click. So if you were to left click, it will just close it. But if you were to right click, then it'll open up the next menu. So basically at this point, a command can be executed. So you can make this be executed by the console or a player, the player itself who's opening up the GUI. So when you right click the block, then the player will execute this command, obviously without the slash. So it'll execute slash help. And you can change this to console, like I said, or you can change this to a message. So when they left click and when they close it, I'm just gonna add this just to show you guys that you can add a message in so bracket message close bracket and then it's gonna say I'm just gonna make it you close the menu so that is that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a menu inside of a menu so my next menu the open command will be slash rules and so when they right click on the very first block the book and it'll open up the next menu that has all the rules in it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get a head start and type rules there. And then I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna copy this format so I can go ahead and make my next menu. So I'm gonna press Control C to copy, enter a new line, backspace, backspace, and then paste it with Control V. I'm gonna call this second menu rules. So there we go. And then I'm going to change all the information and then the command that will open up the menu slash rules, which will happen when they click on the book item because we put that command there. Okay, so I found out when we left click, then I'll close it. It'll show that message that I typed in the config. 
but when we right click it actually doesn't do anything because we actually have to change something so instead of player slash rules so instead of the player executing slash rules and opening up the menu with the command slash rules so basically this this part works when we type slash rules and it'll open up the next menu but it's not working from right clicking and executing the command what we have to do is we have to change this bracket open GUI menu close bracket and then we type the name of the next menu so the next menu is rules and that's just how you connect one GUI to another so I'm gonna change this to nine obviously if you have more than nine rules then you're gonna to want to make this a little bit bigger and then the actual item will be paper so the point of this is there's not going to be anything else when they click on the paper it will just have the rules displayed in the lore itself so nothing else will happen if they left click on it then it will close it but when they right click on that then I'm going to get rid of this right here and yeah so let's go ahead and change the lore to the very first rule I'm just going to make that no griefing and I'm going to delete the second line of lore so real quick, I'm going to save this and show you guys what it looks like from where we are now. All right, so back on the server, let's go ahead and open up the menu slash help. And then let's right click on the rules item. And bam, there we go. Instantly, it went to the next menu that we created. And now it will show the rules. And I need to change that to rule number one. And then the no griefing part is right, but yeah, I have to change it. And the rest will be papers with the rest of the rules. So now let's go down here and let's change this to rule number one there we go now let's also make this a different color the name of the second menu that we have now let's continue on and finish up the rules I'm gonna finish this up and then save it and then show you guys what it looks like and also a cool feature that you can add on is the amount so this is really good for the rules because we can have like for rule number two we can have the amount as two so it shows the stack number so if yours doesn't have that you can go ahead and enter a new line and then just type amount and then you know change the number to whatever you want and also another thing is instead of having left click commands different from the right click commands you can just merge the two and whenever they left click or right click then it will execute the command so it doesn't make it confusing instead you can just have it click commands so yeah also make sure that you're obviously changing the number to the left right here so goes in order from one two three four and on and on all right so I added a couple more rules so let's go ahead and test it out with slash help and then let's right click on the rules book then there we go so now we have rule number one and then as you guys can see the stack number is there rule number two no swearing rule number three no one by one towers and rule number four be nice so I could go on and continue that but I just decided you guys kind of get the point and pretty much from there we can continue the help menu with you know commands that your players can do so like the second one can be commands and then it'll open up another GUI with commands that they should be familiar with on your server maybe the next one could be factions and then faction commands so it can go on like that and you guys can make it to be whatever you want and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys did enjoy this plugin tutorial if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time peace out